we are in Hamburg. It is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful city. It's uh, their Hamburg Triathlon over there. There's Maxine there. There she is taking photos. She's an avid photographer. She takes beautiful photographs on her phone, in fact, of all things. But she can make an iPhone look like an SLR. I'm very jealous. I haven't got those sort of photographic skills. So that's Hamburg's main canal, what connects Hamburg to the rest of the world. Hamburg's got a very, very long history of uh, trade through its canal system. Little history lesson for you there. <laughs> Hamburg has just gone up in my estimations tenfold. A coffee shop in Hamburg called Nord Coast. Roast their own coffee. Coffee's delicious. If you're ever in Hamburg, find it. It's in the old city, which is that way. This was the hotel we stayed in, Henry Hotel. Very nice actually, quite quirky, quite different. And we're gonna go for a wander around. We've got about eight hours to wander around, so <laughs> I think we'll have seen Hamburg more than once by then, because there's not a wild amount to do here, even though it is a very pretty, reasonably quiet city. So you probably don't know this about me, but I love coffee. I am coffee mad. And we found this old school coffee shop. They have all the origins that you could possibly get coffee in these amazing kind of racks, these golden silver uh, dispensers over here. But I mean, the smell is amazing. It just smells like coffee heaven. But I'm going to tell you a little story about our little boy, our first little boy. He came premature, we really, really weren't expecting it, and it really threw us into turmoil. We weren't sure if he was gonna be okay and all those things that come with premature babies, but the reality was that he turned out all right. He was breathing and it was, you know, slightly traumatic, but we got there in the end. But then we found out he had something called undiagnosed neutropenia, and this is a problem with your white blood cells, and it's closely linked to some very, very serious health issues. After blood tests and blood tests, my youngest had more blood tests than I could ever think of of having in my life, but he turned out okay. The doctors at the Alex, which is the hospital he went to, were brilliant. What the relief was like, for, to find out that your you know, child didn't have anything wrong with them was massive. Then we went on to have another little boy, his name was Arlo, he's now two. So really, we haven't been anywhere together for the last five years because of the significance of all the things that went on initially. He was poor, Rafferty was poorly our eldest, then Arlo came along, Maxine breastfed till Arlo was nearly two and then we're finally on holiday together. It feels magical. We've come on a riverboat tour. It's very pretty but the tour guide only speaks German so we've got no clue what's happening. Not a clue.
it's all got too much for Maxine. She's developed a limp. She's developed a limp that makes her look very strange. She's got a sore toe just to put a bit of context into it. Potentially a bunion we think, whatever a bunion is. If you know what a bunion is, leave it in the comments below. <laughs>